So last night, the Golden State Warriors lost in Charlotte to the Hornets. Let's be clear. Steph Curry fell ill before the game. He opted not to play. So obviously the Warriors were at a deficit going into that one. But they competed their behinds off. Kelly Oubre had a good game. Andrew Wiggins made some plays. And they were under the leadership of Draymond Green with no Steph Curry on the court. And I want to put a time stamp on this date. We're going to say February the 20th of 2021. I want us all to remember this game. The Warriors are up two with like 20 seconds to go. Draymond Green goes and gets two technical fouls because of, by the way, what I believe was a bad call. They called a jump ball. Or, or they, called a, they didn't call a jump ball. They, call, they said Gordon Hayward had possession of the ball and allowed him to get a timeout, which allowed the Hornets to get the ball back and because Draymond got two technical fouls, they tied the game up, and then Terry Rozier beat the Warriors at the buzzer for game. So I believe right now, because the Warriors are down Klay Thompson, and to me not in championship mode just yet, I think next year will be their window. I believe the Warriors need Draymond. He's an incredible leader on the court, and his mind of the game of basketball is it, it's, 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 it's top tier. Draymond's one of the best thinkers of the game we got right now. And I believe right now, today, the Warriors need Draymond Green. Will he be traded this season? Nah. But let's be clear. The Warriors are time-stamping that moment in which Draymond opted to get two technical fouls to tie the game up, and then the Warriors go on to lose to the, the Hornets in the middle of February. They're remembering these moments. Don't forget that. I don't forget what I'm telling y'all right now. The Warriors are jotting this one down in their mental notes. See, it's not how you treat me when things are going good. I learn about people, when you, how you treat me when things are going bad. And again, the Warriors have been competitive this year, but they're not in their top tier. Draymond continues to crap on Golden State. Y'all call it passion. I think it's OD a little bit. And I love Draymond's passion, but he goes too far. And losing a game for your team is too far. That's too far, Draymond. And I believe in return, the Warriors are like, look, we down bad right now. We need Draymond. We'll put up with his antics. But when Clay comes back and when it's time to compete for championships, we see what we see in Steph Curry. He's still balling at an MVP level. When it's time for Draymond to come back, I, I was Clay Thompson to come back. I think the Warriors are putting together, probably on the, on the phone with teams behind the scenes, starting the conversations of trade packages that include Draymond Green. And I know Draymond's trade value won't be at the peak because he's not in his athletic prime anymore, to me at least. But if it means packaging Draymond up with James Wiseman, don't think it'll be too much. To bring in an all-star, maybe it's Carl Anthony Towns. Maybe it's Carl Anthony Towns. Draymond and Wiseman for the big fella cat or something along the lines of that. Just, just hold it there. Just put this as a little mental note. I'm telling you, man, if you think the Warriors are not going to get some get back for how Draymond, and I love the passion that he plays with, but he's OD'd it too much. Too much, Draymond. You, you're losing us games now. You're doing stupid stuff down the stretch. Like, you can't tease me with a great time. Draymond, you're just this beautiful mind on the court when you want to be, but some of your mistakes are all-time level dumb. Like getting two technical fouls when you're up two, Michael Jordan wouldn't have went for that. Kobe Bryant wouldn't have went for that. Tim Duncan wouldn't have went for that. Greg Popovich wouldn't have went for that. Phil Jackson wouldn't have went for that. He's getting by with Steve Kerr, who's not the over-aggressive guy with players, not the super controversial guy, and he's getting away with it with Steph Curry, who's not a super controversial guy. But I'm telling you, that Warriors organization, they're watching. They're watching in Charlotte. And if you think they ain't going to get some get back on Draymond, you must don't know how business works. Catch full new episodes of Pharaoh's music based platform every day only on YouTube at It's Mr. Teller Pharaoh. You can also find clips, updates, giveaways, and more on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, also at It's Mr. Teller Pharaoh. For all basketball fans, make sure you tune in to Pharaoh's daily highlights, reports, and commentary on YouTube at Hoops Pharaoh. And even more updates on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Hoops Pharaoh as well.